Hi, welcome back to Art by Brooke. It's been quite a while since I have done a paint pour video on this channel. I had to take a little bit of an unexpected break due to um, some of my chronic issues flaring up and I really appreciate your patience. For today's video, I am doing a leftover paint pour. I've had some colors just kind of sitting on my desk for a long time, and it is all kind of blues and grays. It'll be kind of more of a gray toned piece. I wanted to do a flip cup because I think that might be a really cool look for these colors. And I do have this weird mix, which was actually the leftovers from a tree ring that I just mixed together and made kind of a gray blue and it has metallics in it. I think there's also some metallic in this gray as well. This one over here I believe is maybe my mixture from my dollar store paint pours and I think that this white has some deco art satin enamel in it. Now I can't be completely sure because these are all quite old but I'll put my best guesses in the description down below. Now because this is a leftover paint pour I have no idea if the colors are even going to work very well but I'm kind of excited to get back into it and I think this is a little bit of a low stakes way to get back into paint pouring. I figured all of you would be interested to see the results as well. I am going to be mixing my colors right before pouring them to the cup and also pouring them from higher up so I can try to force air down into the cup and hopefully get some cells from the air bubbles popping. So I think this is way too much paint for this canvas, so I'm going to switch it out for a slightly bigger one.
this is so cool. This is a lot better than I expected. Um, I got a lot more cells than I thought I would. So I'm going to try to use my torch again and see if I can bring anything else out. And then I will let it sit for a while and then we'll take a closer look. We're back. It has been sitting for probably about 15 minutes and a lot of little cells have popped up. So let's take a closer look. So you can see all these cells in here. This is so cool. It's showing some of the darker colors from underneath and it kind of has this white section going through. It's really neat. And over here, I like this little streak of light blue going through the dark colors. You can see all these little tiny cells. And then this side starts to look like a geode. It's so pretty. I love the way these colors look together. And you get some of that black in there. Very cool. If you look at it this way, let's see if I can get it to turn. It looks kind of like a mountain with a light sky up above and maybe some storm clouds coming in. I think that's pretty cool. What do you think you see in this? I really like looking for the pictures in the paintings. I'm really happy with how this turned out, especially because some of this paint is really old. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great day.